Okay guys, this is Breezy uh, Trailer Park here in the Sebastian, Florida area. Uh, this is a small RV park uh, with uh, very close little lots uh, for rent. However, it is directly across from uh, the inlet and just 10 minutes away from the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, it's quiet, it's quaint, and there is not a lot of um, hustle and bustle around this area. So even though, here's an example of a lot, here's lot 33. And even though there's not a lot of amenities, it could be uh, considered uh, not a higher end RV park. It is still, a, a, again, a quiet, quaint community. Someone asked me to do a video of this area. And so, if you were looking to be by Sebastian, uh, by Melbourne, uh, on the east coast of Florida, by the Atlantic Ocean, right by the Inlet River, this is a good option, okay? Uh, possibly, depending on your personal preference. Okay, they're open daily from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, you can also call for information regarding pricing and uh, the length of your stay, etc. Uh, you see that they pretty much accept, it looks like any type of RV uh, or conversion bus. You see here is, um, this looks like a, a, a bus that was converted here. Uh, they're from California. So, you know, they have all different types of rigs, travel trailers. Uh, uh, motorhomes, mainly, it looks like mainly travel trailers here. Uh, I don't know if they allow conversion vans. I would think usually the only requirement I've seen in most RV parks is that the unit is self-contained, meaning it has a bathroom, uh, 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 kitchenette, and sleeping quarters. But, you know, you could always call and check. And there's a big fifth wheel. Excuse me, we're going into the sun. Uh, but this is the height of the summer, so there's a lot of uh, open uh, RV uh, spots here. I know it's tough to see now that we're going into the sun. Uh, but this is lot 16, which backs up, it looks like, to storage. Each lot has a little picnic table. Uh, and there's a, a little bit of a distance between you and your neighbor. Okay, so it's not uh, that bad. Again, this is in the summer, so I'm sure in the winter... It's pretty packed but would I stay here uh, yes I would I would stay here for the fact that you this is a peaceful area of Florida you're directly across from the river 10 minutes away from the ocean there are uh, supermarkets and shops in, in pretty close proximity because uh, you're right off route one and I'll show you that in a minute and again excuse the Sun I know we're directly in the Sun I uh, can't help that right now the Sun is rising but you see there are some spots as soon as you come in right off route one the spots in the back of the park that i just showed you tend to be a little bit nicer okay but um you know you do fine either way they're all pretty much the same size now uh, this is lot 25 which is right by the entrance off route one uh, it looks like they all have full utility hookups there's a, a clothesline older rvs here mainly uh, but every everything seems decent, so there's not a lot of requirement for the age of the RV. Uh, nice area. Uh, overall, nice little park, quaint park. Uh, so, and there is uh, like a tiny home too, I see, off to, um, off to the left. Again, this is Breezeway Trailer Park in, in the Sebastian, uh, Florida area. I think it's called Mike Myco Florida though so tiny you could bring your tiny home uh, motor home or travel trailer this is route one and directly across from route one I believe that's the Indian River and then on the other side of the Indian River is highway a1a and then the Atlantic Ocean uh, this is uh, again a quiet part of Florida not a lot of activity uh, Myco Florida is the official name even though you're pretty much on the borderline of Sebastian and this, I believe, is another section of the park. Yeah, this is, so this is lot one for reference. So this is probably the beginning of the park. I probably showed you the second half. Uh, 
and I guess that's a bathhouse here. Let's go, let's look at lot 21. You'll get a better view here now that we're not in the sun. This is lot 21, and that may or may not be a bathhouse. I'm not sure. Uh, but they do have open spots, and it looks like they also have some mobile homes and, again, some tiny homes. Mainly travel trailers in here, a few motor homes. Uh, quiet. It's uh, early in the morning as I make this on the weekend, but it is in August as I make this, so it's not um, it's not the height of uh, tourism season. So uh, this just goes in a circle to where we just came out. So, but either way, you know, I figured um, for my viewer who request requested this, I believe Chris, his name was, I figured. I'd swing by, show you. It looks like they do allow dogs because I see a dog, uh, at least in that trailer next to me. So, but either way, this is, uh, we'll go a little bit on Route 1 just to get a feel for the area. But yeah, and that's the one thing I do like about the RV lifestyle is that you're on wheels, right? And if you don't like maintenance, if you don't like liability, you pull your rig in, you stay for a day, you stay for months. And whenever it's time to go, you go. You don't need to worry about a real estate agent, about a HOA, about anything. So, and there's a lot of RP, RV parks, a lot of campgrounds. You know, the only thing that is a little bit negative with the RV lifestyle at this point in society is some of these RV parks, the, the lot rent uh, or the daily admission fee has got just as high as some of... Uh, like studio apartment rentals depending on your area and then when you add the cost to have an rv and to uh, tow it or to maintain it so you know again you can still find cheaper options than a regular life but the main sales pitch the main sales pitch of the rv lifestyle is that you live on wheels if a hurricane comes you move if a job opportunity comes you move if you get tired of an area, tired of your neighbors, you move. Living on wheels, the greatest asset is flexibility. Sometimes you are not necessarily living cheaper than an apartment, but you don't have shared walls, you aren't stuck in a location, you aren't stuck in a lease, and you have flexibility. That is the sales pitch, and the rightfully so sales pitch of the RV lifestyle, mobility and flexibility. So, you know, and this is again Route 1. We are south facing or heading now towards Sebastian, and we're actually uh, crossing it right now, Indian River County. So, Sebastian and Vero Beach would be the next town south, and if we went north, the next town's north would be Melbourne. Um, so, yeah, this is a quiet part of Florida on the east coast, kind of like central east coast, headed towards southern east coast. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, you got some hotels, some shops. There's not a lot going on here, but it's a peaceful life uh, that you could live uh, somewhat probably cheaper than uh, most areas. And uh, just enjoy yourself. Uh, enjoy simplicity. Enjoy fishing. Enjoy the ocean. Not a lot of traffic. And that's kind of the attraction of this area. And, uh, you know, that's the attraction of, again, the RV lifestyle where you could uh, move to an area that uh, inspires you. Uh, to the right is a Sebastian Medical Center, so you do have medical facilities. That's always a positive in case you needed them in an emergency, okay? And uh, there's some shops in this area. You got Walgreens, you got a, a, a Burger King, Walmart, etc. So everything you would need, right, uh, within a localized area in this small, like, little uh, community-type feel, and, uh, yeah, I think you would do good to stay uh, there. Uh, again, you know, I don't know the neighbors, and I'm sure different times of year has different feel. But, you know, when you're on wheels, you come and go as you please, and you can change your plans and adapt quickly. Home Depot to the right and a Publix to the right. That's a supermarket. Uh, and so, you'd uh, yeah, you'd find everything you need in these shops, McDonald's, and you would uh, you'd live a, a good life. Uh, or, you know, a good vacation or whatever you'd want to do. So, you know, there's something uh, even still within my soul that I still love living on wheels. Even though I don't have an RV, I live in my car. And I look at my next step in life, whether I get an RV or get a house. 
you know the RV lot is kind of a little bit of an attraction because I still like the idea that I, I I live on wheels if I really wanted to move uh, but I don't know you know if I want to own property again or not but either way I hope this video helped shout out to Chris uh, to all my viewers thank you for watching uh, if you want to support the channel click the blue join button check out my playlist click the thumbs up leave a comment share the video uh, that all helps support the channel in a positive uh, way and i appreciate that thank you